In this video we look at making new plugs for our speed sensors, that's cam and crank speed sensor on an industrial cat engine. You can't buy the short harness that goes from the plug to the main harness, you've got to buy the entire harness if you want to replace these plugs. So it's a handy thing to know if one ever breaks or you're having a problem with a plug. There's two different plugs to get, they've got two different localities on it. This is on a C9, they both say plug A but they've got a different part number. And then you've got to buy this terminal assembly. If you go into the schematic and buy the plug in for one, you'll only get the plastic part. You won't get the female terminal. This is the assembly for it. And you need to put this into your plug. Once you've put the terminals in, you can pull them out if you want. There's no point on the machine if you wanted to replace the plug. You've got to replace the whole thing. If you push these terminals out, you can't get the plug out. So when you replace it, you're doing terminals and the plug but just a little pressure on that tab and it will slide out for you. That's a side on view of the female terminal part. If you have a look at the plug and then the terminal, it has a locator part. That's the tab that we push up that locks it in place. And you just slide it straight in like that and pull it till it locks in. And there's a dust seal that you thread the wires through that goes at the back of the plug. On the harness we're fixing we need to cut the wires flush behind the plug. It's a good idea to leave a bit of wire sticking out so you know the orientation for when you're wiring in the new plugs. So I've stripped the wires here on the old harness. I'm using these heat shrink joiners to join the new plug to the old harness. You just twitch the wires together, slide the heat shrink over till the solder part is centered with the bad copper wires and heat it down until you see the solder melt. These joiners are great, they make a super strong join, you have absolute continuity through the join and they're insulated as well. I'll leave a link in the description for these joiners, I really recommend them, they're super cheap and they're such a great idea. I put a bit of heat shrink, this is glue infused heat shrink over the harness as well just for extra protection. Now what you can do after the join is twist the wires. This is supposed to reduce interference with the wires but I do it more just to keep the two wires together and it makes them more rigid like a harness so that they don't flop around. So there you have it. If you need to repair a two pin plug and uh, you don't want to spend a thousand bucks on a new harness, uh, give this a go. It was only about 20 bucks to do each plug. If you thought this video was helpful, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading videos like this weekly.